friends whenever you go for an interview then generally a question may be asked to you that the mcb we use and the mccb we use what is the difference between these two and when this question is asked we simply give the answer that this mcb we use has low current rating and the current rating of mccb is high but except this many differences are there which are important when you tell all these differences to interviewer then it will have a good impression on the interviewer okay then today in this video let us discuss about all the differences between these two this device which you can see here is known as mcb full form of mcb is miniature circuit breaker after this this device here is known as mccb full form of mccb is molded case circuit breaker friends in our home we generally use mcb so you all are well aware of it but still i am telling you some information to turn on and off this mcb we have to push this button upwards or downwards similarly in this mccb here to turn on and off this mccb this button or knob is to be pushed upwards and downwards if you push downwards then this mccb will stop giving output power supply similarly to turn on this we have to move this upwards you can see here it is written on and on moving downwards here it is written off now what is work of mcb and working of mccb let's understand this we use these two devices for protection mainly there are two types of electrical faults overload fault and short circuit fault for protection from these faults you can use mcb or you can use mccb also but you have to understand one thing is this mcb here only provides protection from overload and short circuit but through this mccb we get protection from overload short circuit as well as shunt tripping also you must have know the meaning of overload the mcb we use suppose this mcb i have is of 10 ampere here it is written also 10 ampere if i flow more current than this through this mcb then in this condition mcb will trip due to overload condition similarly in the output power supply going from mcb if two phase wires somehow made contact with each other then in this condition short circuit will happen and in condition of short circuit this mcb will provide protection this mccb also provides protection from short circuit besides shunt trip is written here which means we can make this mccb trip separately if i want to trip this breaker then by simply pressing push button i can let this breaker trip as you have seen in this contactor we use along with contactor we use many interlocking so that if any kind of problem occurs in contactor then it will turn off by itself similarly in this mccb here a shunt is placed inside at the back side there is an option to connect the shunt i am opening the cover so that you can clearly see here you can see some space is provided in this space you have to mount the shunt coil so the shunt coil we have we will mount here from which two wires will come out these two wires can be connected with push button or can be used in any kind of interlocking when we press this push button then this mccb here will trip instantly this mcb we use this mcb is available only from 1 to 63 ampere but for protection from overload and short circuit if you want a breaker of more than 63 ampere then you have to use mccb this mccb is available from 100 to 1000 ampere but up to 2500 ampere mccb can get designed friends current rating of mccb can be adjusted also i mean in this mccb there is a knob this is a basic model in lot of mccbs you will find a knob by rotating that knob current rating can be decreased as you can see this mccb i have right now is of 200 ampere you can see here it is written 200 ampere now at the place where we are installing this mccb suppose current rating at that place is 180 ampere so in this condition what you have to do in your mccb there is a knob by rotating that knob you can decrease the current rating of mccb the current rating written here cannot be further increased but you may be able to decrease this but in this mcb you won't find any kind of knob through which we can increase or decrease the current rating now next difference between these two is mcb can be single pole two pole similarly of three pole and even four pole mcb you can find 
but this MCCB is only available in 3 pole and 4 pole. Next difference between these is MCB can be used for domestic, commercial as well as in industries also. By commercial I mean big buildings, offices etc. in these all places also MCB is used. But this MCCB is only used commercially or in industries. So in the buildings where to turn on and off the power supply we use this type of MCCB only. Friends as I told you this MCB we use and the MCCB we use both these are providing protection from short circuit. And you know that whenever there is a short circuit high amount of current flows. If this much current flows from your device your device may become faulty. So for these devices short circuit current is an important point which is kept in mind. So maximum short circuit current which can flow from this device is known as interrupting current. In this MCB here if short circuit takes place then in this condition from this MCB maximum 18 kilo ampere or you can say 18,000 ampere current can flow and still MCB will work properly. This MCB which I have right now on this MCB here it is written 6000. It means even if 6000 ampere current flows through this MCB for few seconds then in this condition this MCB will not be destroyed. Remember in case of short circuit only for few seconds this much current should flow. If in case of short circuit this MCB does not trip and for longer time if this much current flows then this MCB will be destroyed. So interrupting current of this MCB can be 18,000 ampere. But for this MCCB interrupting current is from 10,000 to 2 lakh ampere. It means in condition of short circuit through this MCCB even if 2 lakh ampere current flows for few seconds then this MCCB will still work normally. Now here the MCCB I have in this you can see here it is written ICU 35 kilo ampere. This means this MCCB is designed for flowing up to 35 kilo ampere short circuit current. But whenever we select the MCCB we have to see this ICS. In front of this it is written 25 kilo ampere. Full form of ICS is service short circuit breaking capacity. It means wherever we use this the current which flows at the time of short circuit must not be more than 25 kilo ampere. Friends in this MCCB there is one more additional benefit which is in this MCCB you will find an auxiliary contact. Auxiliary contact means like in your contactor the way in which NO contact is there similarly in this MCCB you will find a NO contact. In this MCCB there is no NO contact so I can't show you but NO contact is present in MCCB. The way in which NO NC contact is mounted on contactor through Adam block similarly in MCCB there is an option to mount on the sides but in your MCB there is no auxiliary contact. Now this MCB here we cannot check this. I mean if MCB become faulty and we want to check this then we can't. But this MCCB we use in this you can see a push button is provided. When we press this button MCCB will trip. Like you just saw it got trip. Let's reset this. First we have to turn off this then turn it on. Then only it will get reset. Our MCCB is reset now. When I press this push button again then MCCB will trip. In tripping condition this knob of MCCB I mean this handle will come to middle position. If handle is in middle position then it confirms that this MCCB got tripped due to short circuit or over current. So I told you a lot of benefits about MCCB. You must have got that the cost price of MCCB is very high. It will be very costly for you when you go to buy this. But MCB is very cheap. So friends the main differences between these two I explained them to you. Besides there are small differences which are not very much important so I didn't told you. Friends in front of MCB here C is written. If you want to know the meaning of this C then click on this right hand side icon and watch the video. You will get the whole knowledge there. Thanks for watching this video.